Hi everybody, this is Anne-Marie from AMB Illustrations and I will try to speak a little bit slower but when I've just finished a project and I'm going to share it, I feel really excited about the whole thing. So uh, I have tendencies to really um, talk fast. Um, so, uh, so to bring you into context a little bit, I'll show you a bit what I've done so far. As you see on screen, we have the um, four gnomes and there's a Christmas tree here on the side. Hang on a second. Just let me get my, uh, let me get a color here, red, maybe not a great color, but okay. So you see I have a Christmas tree. Whoa, it's not working. Okay. Oh, because it's locked. I've locked it so I wouldn't move things. Hang on a second. No, this is a new, so I would have to go into layers. One moment, please. This is like not a great start. <laughs> Let me just go here, new layer. There we go. Okay. All right. So, um, what I wanted to do was like, here is the Christmas tree. You have many Christmas trees. I'll show you later. Uh, you have accessories like the, um, bucket of ornaments and things like that. But, uh, to show you a little bit where it started, this thing started from, this is the first one I made was my little sitting gnome. I also have a, a, a YouTube video that I put on giving you 12 tips on how to draw a gnome with the shading, everything else, if you want to perfect yourself. Um, it's a preparation, you know, for when you're doing clip arts and stuff, because this is how I do clip arts. This is another drawing of a of the ba what I call the banner gnome. Um, this is an acorn gnome that is not in the pack. I haven't finished it, so I'm going to have to do another pack, because this one is, yeah, that was my sleepy gnome. This one was my leaf gnome that you're going to see a little later on. This is a not good one. This is was just a plain gnome, but, um, and what influenced me to do this pack was I was going on Pinterest uh, because I wanted to make decorations for Christmas. As you can see, I'm in decoration, <laughs> decoration mode um, in the back here. Um, and so I wanted to make these little gnome, uh, sock gnomes. And so I just like, I fell in love with, I just love them. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. So I started drawing and drawing and drawing. I let go of the decorations and then I went to, to you know, just concentrated on doing the gnome pack. Um, this one is not in it either. It's going to be the next pack. I have this one lighting the lights, which was influenced by the light over there that I got at the dollar store. Um... Anyway, so on and so forth. So what happens is, I'm going to show you my process, is I make them in watercolor. And so, this one's huge. <laughs> and this is the next one. This is not in this pack. Neither is the little other one next to it, but I have to finish them. They're not finished yet, as you can see. It's just the base colors that are on there. But, uh, so let me just put this away. See, see what I mean when I get excited? I just want to just go on and on and on. Um, so this is the pack, basically. And um, I've done many versions of the gnomes. And, like, with the decorations and um, arms and no arms and stuff like that. So you could play around and, and do groupings of gnomes for whatever your, uh, you know, whatever you necessitate to do your products, right? So let me just show you what's in here. All right. Like I like I said, so hang on. Let me just take off my watermarks, which are not included in the products when you purchase them. Uh, but you see like this one here. Hang on. So this one here has um, his arms on the side. This one has no arms. Um, this one has a banner in back of him passing through. It's very festive. This one's juggling um, Christmas ornaments. This, what's the difference there? I do write the differences between each one. Oh, so this one is a plane without the hats. As you can see on this one here, the, the hat is plain. But on this one here, it's decorated with reindeer because it's a Scandinavian type of gnome. Um, this one has a pipe, and I know smoking is not in, but you know what? <laughs> I think it's kind of cute, so I've put some gnomes with pipes on them for those of you that don't mind the smoking, right? Um, also, one juggling stars, one with both hands in the air to do whatever you can write or, you know, have them hold hands or whatever you want, you know? 
and this one and this one the difference is oh no pipe and pipe okay let me go to my next page of what's included these are my leaf ones my leaf gnomes my leaf gnomes have one with a pipe one holding jingle bells i don't know what they're called they're called uh you know those rattle things that, that make noise i don't know what's called in english um this is just a plain one, him on the stool because he's very short. I have also the leaf gnome holding a cane, holding a tree, and then holding a ladder going towards uh, doing a decoration. Also, in this pack, I have, this is what I call my bell gnome. My bell gnome is just without arms, with arms, with a mistletoe. The third one here has a mistletoe. Hang on, let me take off my watermarks mistletoe um, motif and the other ones have maple motifs we're in Canada after all um, lots of maple trees right um, this one's holding the cane but I've taken the bell that was on his hat and I put it on the cane I thought it would be cute like him walking around and I could actually hear him you know the tinkling of the bell I don't know if that's the right word tinkling of the bell well you understand what I'm saying um, so this one is a more ornate one with the um, cardinals on his uh, gown on the chair on the stool on the uh, ladder pre-done on the ladder and he took his cane and he's picking up an ornament and he has a bucket of ornaments with it so I thought that was kind of nice because now that I started showing you uh, what I do with this stuff and what you can do with it I sort of get all excited because I could go on and on but I mean there's so much I can do and you know, at one point, I've got to let free reign for you to guy for you guys to create, right? All right, so that's in the other, that's in the same pack. By the way, I had to do different uh, previews and different illustrators because it was so heavy. There was so much stuff that I've included in this pack that it was like too heavy. And um, and for you that are purchasing from me on Etsy, I cannot put it on Etsy because Etsy allows you to have five zip files. And each file, each zip file cannot measure more or weigh more than 20 um, megs. The problem is my this whole pack measures 250 megs. So you can find it on www.ambillustrations.com. That's my website. Uh, if you are um, subscribed to my newsletter, uh, you you know that you'll be receiving all kinds of freebies every time I post one up, but you will get a special reduction on this price if you sign up on my on my newsletter. Um, the website takes PayPal and um, credit card. So, and if you have a problem and you want to buy it on Etsy, listen, convo me and we'll make an arrangement so that I can send it to you by WeTransfer or something like that. Okay, so this is the first time this pack, this actually happens because the pack is so huge and it's all watercolor, so it's very, very high quality art. Okay, um, this is my sleepy gnome. So here the first one is um, just plain. It's just a plain blue if some of you don't like have decorations and stuff. The second one has his um, hands are up and he has a pipe. The second one has, he's just saying hi. The fourth one is holding a banner. The fifth one has both uh, arms by the side and so on and so forth. You have a lot of um, different variety because when you're sticking them together, I found that if you're putting one gnome with another gnome, you don't want to have like one gnome have a, a mitten right in front of the other guy, you know? So that's why I've added a lot, a lot of variations for you. Okay, now I've also included in this pack, this, um, there's like three gnomes together and then you have four gnomes together. And then I started like thinking, okay, that would be really cute instead of having a banner, just have like, um, and let me go a little bit closer. See, he's holding like a decoration of, of um, stars. And then this one, hang on, is the opposite. He's holding it just like that. Uh, with the packs, you also get the banners. Whoops, hang on a second. That's why I locked my first one. <laughs> banners, empty banners. Then you have a happy Christmas, happy new year banner. You have a happy holidays one. And you, I think you have, a, yeah, the other one is, um, 
in blue and in, in burgundy to match, depending, because if you want, you want to have blue gnomes and you want to have a blue, a blue written banner, I thought, you know, I would give you options for this too. Now, this guy's my little favorite one. Um, so you have it without the, without, again, without the arms, with the arms, the arms placed in different directions, with the pipe, with the banner, um, you have a lot of him and you have different decorations. So you have him in plain without any decorations on him, but you also have one that has, um, let me get closer here with the decorations, snowflakes and chevron. Okay. And then I've given you groupings. They're all pre-done. Uh, so this one's, you know, with all these trees, this is one of them. Hang on a second. That's one. And, whoops, let me get out of my select. Then I've got this one where he's just walking by the empty trees. Each tree comes separate. So you'll see, I'll show you the next uh, included uh, bonus pack that goes with this. Then you have these two with in front of the trees. Him carrying his little ladder, getting ready to go cut down the tree or decorate the tree. And um, there we go. I've added these two put together for you that does that don't like to, you know, do too much copy pasting. So I've put these two together and I've done this little, um, this was actually quite fun because I could actually see it almost like a storybook. So the elf is in the back. He's lifting up decorations from the bucket. And then this other little guy went to get his ladder too to come and help out. Um, you see what I mean when I get like excited over a project? I, I mean, I like to put the settings together and the groupings together. It's really fun. All right, so my bonus pack that goes with this is this one. So I'll show you. I have a stool. I have a ladder. You could put the gnomes in the back in the front of the ladder. Um, I have this little banner here of um, bunting, the bunting banner. And um, so this tree is decorated uh, with multiple colors of ornaments. Um, this one is just, hang on a second, let me just go here. I've just put like a banner of stars with little red dots in between and ribbons. This one is a skinnier tree. This one is a um, not done tree. So you could take all these ornaments that are included and the star and everything else and just decorate the tree how you want it. So if you just want like blue balls or blue ornaments on it, put the, just the blue ornaments on it. So I've done another tree with just red ornaments and stars and candy canes. So it's a, a red and white theme. This one has less, less ornaments on it. It's just ribbons and candy cane and stars and the empty wider tree. Okay, so I've also included a corner ornament. Like if you want to decorate the top of your page, I've added like this candy cane border here. If you put them together, I'll show you. Hang on. You just have to continue them on like that. And you'll be able to do like a whole row of them, you know, for as long as, 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 long as you need. Um, this is a grouping of the, the three trees that I wanted to show that you could do. Um, this is an easy one. It's the ladder, the footstool, and the ornaments in a bucket. The three trees together, you just stretch them and you put them smaller, higher, however you want. I've added another, um, just a plain star um, border that you could also, again, just copy, paste, and continue on. So you just have to put this one on the top of the other one so that it'll seem seamlessly, um, there we go. See that it, it just goes like perfectly on there and you can continue that. And my little grouping of four um, gnomes here. So that's what, that's, <laughs> that's the pack. So now you know why it took me all week. Yes, of course, I have to admit that I did do other gnomes that are not in this pack. But um, I had such fun doing it. Hope you like it. This is actually my, f I've done a couple of water uh, color packs, but they were very minimal. This is an extensive one. Hope you like it. Um, like I said, if you go on my website on www.ambillustrations.com and you go on the newsletter and subscribe, you will have a special discount for this, um, this uh, pack. Let me know what you think. Do you like the watercolor artwork more than you do the uh, clip arts or the vector clip arts? Clip arts? 
Anyway, love creating things for you, love communicating with you. I find it so important to talk to you and share things with you. Um, I'm looking into doing some live videos where you can maybe ask me questions or we could draw or you can ask me to draw things. Um, lots of things ahead. Have a great week. Be creative and have fun. Bye for now.